Alrighty, what is going on you guys? Today I'm going to be doing a rune and build guide for everywhere that Silas can go, which is mid, jungle, and top. We're going to start with mid for the first one, and the runes for this are going to be Conqueror, obviously, Presence of Mind because of our mana cost, Tenacity because we get out CC pretty often, and Last Stand so we can heal back up when we're low. For secondary, you want to go Inspiration, you want to go Biscuit Delivery, and Time Warp Tonic. Now, I'll explain why we don't do boots later on, but this is what you're wanna, gonna wanna go. We're also gonna go attack speed, so this kind of matches up with that. Adaptive Wars, and we'll be going magic resist because it's a rise mid. Alrighty, so the reason that I don't like to take boots in the mid lane, and I've learned this actually helps a lot not to, is because mid lane, you're gonna wanna take Ignite. You don't want to take TP, you're in the middle of the map. So for that reason, you can't wait 12 minutes to get boots. You, I almost always get boots like Bring first back, down. and then I will upgrade boots as soon as possible. Uh, and you're in the middle of the game. If you can Aren't help you with getting mage. scuttles, you can just roam around constantly. You can help other lanes just like that without yeah. needing to take TP and having the advantage of Ignite for kill pressure. Um, this is also good because Time Warp Tonic and Biscuits in time warp tonic especially biscuits is going to increase your mana pool and then time warp tonic gives you extra movement speed while you're consuming something so just the more movement speed the better i feel and i think it's really great honestly to kind of be able to be careless in lane because you want to give them that feeling and then you know once you get a few trades with corrupting you, you're going to be ahead of them so it's kind of what the aim is to do here there was jarvan jungle good Good early what ward. Make sure he doesn't come for us. And I'm gonna take a biscuit here. Look for a quick trade. And I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. I got biscuit. He only has two health potions. I have the ignite advantage. He has TP, so I'm gonna be looking for kills on him, to be honest. The way he's in a good spot where I'm not too pressured, and we're gonna get game. Just like that. I'm really glad I didn't use summoner spells though. Also pretty nice is the home guards in this new patch, which is even more the reason not to take TP because I don't need to take TP and I'm, I'm gonna catch this wave honestly. I'm, I'm like pretty happy about that. I really didn't lose anything. Gold went on Jarvan. I have both my summoner spells still. We're actually at a dead even match still, me and this Rise. And I actually might have more CS than him by the end of this because Jarvan also pushed him out of lane or took some of his XP trying to push, trying to shove in the lane. He actually took some XP and gold from the rise, so not too worried at all. Alright, rise is over there. He has TP, so I'm gonna keep the lane in this area. I don't know how he has a double buff. Oh, he just, yeah, he got a kill. Okay, well, maybe that's a little bit of a problem. I will keep the lane like this so he loses minions. Put a few points to my Q. I'm not going back to the dungeons. And now if they want to fight, I have a huge wave for him. He's gonna have to make a decision, either fight me or go to Lee. I'm a man without a country. Perhaps I'll take this one. And just like that, he used... Oh, he used 7 HP and got a level up. That was very cool. I'll use Flash, I'm not too worried, honestly. I'm gonna put a point into W. Sweet liberation. We can just see how this goes, honestly. There's Jarvan, right on time. I actually believe I can kill Jarvan. Oh, that works too. damage from poke is gonna do good he's basically out of mana gonna wait my combo should be able to kill. i 
All right, here we call. I have a CS advantage on him, which is pretty nice. What can they do to me that they have not done? We're gonna get his TP out here. And we're gonna get boots immediately so we can come back to lane. Sometimes he misses a good wave of minions. And I really do like this early game build. I love getting all of these items in the beginning. It really helps me snowball. And it may not be the best gold efficiency, but I because of like slots and things like that, but I find that it honestly gets me to the stage where I at least win lane. Which is extremely important. Now his ulti is a bit trash to take. I think over time with these no trades we should slums, win. No more Not with Darwin here though, unfortunately. But we'll take the ulti we'll because the better than taking rises. He has no flash here. He put his ulti down. Okay. Got Jarvin's flash as well. I don't think he would have killed me, but I was waiting for my W. He's not six yet, so I'm not too worried. I can kind of just play around him. Then once my W comes back up, maybe go for a kill. Yep. Well, I hope the early kills were worth it. That's going to leave a power vacuum. We're gonna shove in before Rise comes back. Actually, no, we're gonna keep the lane like that. I can't shove in. We're gonna keep it frozen. And I'm actually going to rush Boots, because look, he's already here. I'm gonna rush Sorcerer's Boots right now. This is something you can't really do when you're going, um, when you have magical footwear. I wouldn't even have Boots yet. Just think about it. I would have all the kills, but I'd have no wave. I'd have no experience. It totally wouldn't be worth it. I mean, I missed four minions here, but I'm almost level eight. I'm almost two levels above the guy. Going, going boots is so, so important. Now I have an ignite advantage on him as well. So it's just a straight kill lane at this point. I mean, let him, we let him be happy for a little bit, but I'm not gonna use ignite because he's dead. We, we let him, you know, be a little happy, but then we remind him, you know, stay in your place. Just like that. The lane is mine. Even after a disadvantage, like that early lane gank. Doesn't matter. With the new home cards, with boots rush, it's extremely good for mid lane. And this is the build I find myself running extremely often, like... It's not like like I do change, you know, some things you do change depending on the enemies, but this is almost always the same, especially the early game items. And sometimes if I'm doing really well, when I'm at 10 stacks, oh wait, got a guy here. Do my time warp tonic for extra speed. Got a good night, we can look for something. You just picked into safety. I need an- oh wait, I'm stuck. That was weird. I need an ulti to steal. Oh, I wanted to KS that. But I'll KS that instead. And actually, ironically enough, I think I'm gonna get my 10 Dark Seal stacks right here. Yep. <laughs> and just like that, we get Magi's for even more movement speed. I like that, I like that a lot. You know, although it is it is a bit risky, but um, because of my movement speed, I'm a lot more confident in doing this. Because I have so much, I'm 422 movement speed, you know. It's like going to be hard to kill me. If I pop a time warp tonic, I'll be even faster. Slippery. I'm going to be slippery, to say the least. And I was able to roam bottom there. Don't need TP. Having Ignite is extre extremely good. And we are two levels above Rise. Pretty good, pretty good. Hmm. Alright, 
Take a blue buff too. Thank you, good sir. When you win lane, people seem to be a lot nicer. Your fear makes me hungry. I think a Rift Herald would be really good. Got a fight going on here. I'm gonna pop. Try more tonic. Be a little faster. I'm at 439 speed. And I'm gonna KS because we have Magi's and we're gonna take those kills, you know? The more power for us. Snowballing effect with this is extremely good. Okay, we see Rise mid. Just like that. I'm on the other side of the. I'm, I'm back to mid lane. Super fast. I'm gonna push in the wave. This guy's got no boots. He's gonna have to use TP if he wants to catch a wave. So I'm just gonna keep them shoving in. Actually, my friend needs help. I'm coming, friend. Got a Jarvan ulti I could steal pretty well. Well played, friend. And now you're screwed too. Oh, let's take another! We're at 22 stacks. <laughs> it's just, dude, I don't even know. Everyone was flaming each other in the beginning of the game. All that stuff. My mid was roaming. It seemed so bad, but I did not give up hope. Here we are now. Okay, we got Rise's TP. I think we can actually take our stone. Yeah, we can take the arm. I think I'm gonna go for an extra kill here. No, don't hurt my friend! Maybe go for another tower? Oh no, I can't steal any of their ultis actually. The speed, 400, they can't catch me. Whew, I was afraid I was gonna lose my stacks there. And actually, I'm afraid we can't afford it. We're gonna have to greed for another wave. Doesn't matter though. Rise is almost dead. Or Rise is still dead. So I'm not that scared of breeding too much. It's 2350, I believe. We'll have to wait a few seconds in base, but I think we'll be alright. Actually it's counter jungle. The revolution must pause. Perfect. So we screw the enemy team. And we benefit ourselves. The win-win. And this is going to be a gigantic power spike for me because I still have no cooldown reduction. There we go. Running back to lane, 422 moving speed. Still haven't missed a wave yet. Very ahead of Rise and CS, which is, which is, you know, for you Silas players out there, you know how rare it is. Have an, a, a CS farm lead ahead of your opponent. I mean, it, it almost never happens. Pop a time warp for extra speed. I think we're even faster than Phase Rush now, huh? You're dead. I don't think I can help you. Wait. Oh, oh we got a flash out. I need to use Ignite. Poor guy's dead. Whew. These guys are worth no gold. Got a fat bounty on me, though. The thing is, I have. Flash though, I'm not that scared of losing the bounty. And I like to go for build wise. I really find myself enjoying going this build, you know, so far. You know, early game items. And then I like to get a Zonia's second item, you know, after the Ludens, because it actually helps a lot with the utility. The the utility of it is amazing. You get extra 10% cooldown reduction. It's everything about it. It's really beneficial. What's up? And then I like to rush a Rabagons, because then we need some flat AP. But this snowballing effect with the Magi's, it's, it's just really, really amazing. It's all about not falling behind in the early game. You know, we find ourselves buying a lot of handicaps. I like to go extra mana regen, I like to go Doran's Ring, I like to go Dark Seal. All of these things don't put into a real build. They're just handicaps for the early game, but it really helps us get there, you know? And this is where Ignite becomes really good. I don't need to buy Marola and Omicron very early. And I have anti-heal for someone like Renekton, who heals a lot. Okay, not bad. Okay, Garen's not going to do anything, unfortunately. I got a lot of cooldown next we got 30%, so I'm going to be able to heal off these fights and live quite a while. And we're out of there. It was close. You know, once I saw the ignite on me from 
Leona, I was like, no way. No, I'm not losing my stacks. I am I'm out of here. Put them in the cataclysm so they couldn't chase me and I got a Oh my god. That was the dude, what the heck? Yeah, I expected it's a fast game, but not that fast. That's fun. I didn't expect the game to go like that, and in the beginning I was extremely tilted. Alrighty now for the jungle, this is where I really run the Hail of Blades, and I really do. Um, not in the mid lane or top, and I've tried it. So you're going to want to go to Hail of Blades, obviously. Sudden Impact for the extra burst damage, which is what you're going for. Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter. Now, I like to go Precision because we run out of mana. And so I like to have mana, Presence of Mind, and Tenacity to help us get out of those sticky situations. 10% Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Armor to help with the jungle creep. Now, for jungle, my usual go-to ban is Elise. Because she's just, she's a great jungler in general. And, um... Especially against the Silas. Really like to get her out of the way. Uh, if the team is all here, I like to go for an invade. And I like to go Sweeper because of that. Uh, I think the invade potential with the Silas is extremely good. And Halo of Blades is basically... People think it's troll. But how, how it usually goes is like it's really good in the early game. Then it becomes really bad mid game. But then like it's, un, it's unstoppable late game. You get the full build. It's just like the enemy can't win. It's so insane all right so, so yeah this is what i like to do i'm gonna invade i like to have my sweeper running to make sure they don't see us walking at all and i always 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 start e okay so we found our bait here and we get a flash out which is like obviously better than nothing i don't like the counter jungle because it's just hard to kill camps the Bastia have suffered much but get in my way and you'll it's suffer. just i don't like to use smite but we're already in here. He has no flash. Oh, if that hit, I would have been able to go for it. Um, I most likely will, will smite. So it doesn't go to him. We just failed it. We can actually go for a fight. And so that's the burst I'm basically talking about. That I really like. Basically was able to get extra autos off 14 extra damage, which is obviously really prevalent there. Oh. Um, weird, really, really weird early start. I might be screwed, but I helped my laners a lot. I got both assists. The assists come in handy with Ravenous Hunter and extra AP. Just. Starting W is really weird too, but this was a really weird game to be honest. This is what I look for though. I'm happy I was able to help my team with that. And we we screwed the enemy, jungler, and enemy in general from that. But it kind of results in making my jungle a little harder to do. Especially when I didn't get a kill. So I guess like the mid game, mid lane game, we did start at a deficit and we're going to be doing that again. Because although that was really good, it, it screws me. Like, that's really bad for me. Uh, they got no flashes. It would be a good time for me. What can they do to me that they have not done? Walk out. Wow, really? Controlling. I'm dead. Okay, lol. Jeez. Okay. Okay. I'm dead. Oh, get the double bounce from her! I'm just, dude, I'm such a team player. Four assists, I can't even afford my jungle item still. <laughs> but she must be fed. I mean, bottom lane's so flippin' fed, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Extra AP at least. I have an extra eight ability power. The bottom lane should just roll now. I didn't have spl splash. I was pretty sure I was a dead man there, no matter what. Okay. Now, jungle items get buffed recently, so it should be easier to kite out minions for those of you that don't know how to do that. A little awkward because I still am level 3 don't have my Q yet. And they actually nerfed getting, like, what happened there, they nerfed getting XP with team kills a lot, which is why I'm not level 3 yet. Jungle got, jungle got screwed, I'd say, for the most part. I mean, there were some buffs, but it got screwed. So here's a blue, red buff from me. I'm going to try to go for that. He's above me in camps, which is to be expected, and he is the 1v1 god. So, my mid lane can help me. He also has double buffs, which makes it even harder for me to beat him. Like this. Well, I really don't want to use smite because I need help getting jungle camps. Yeah. Okay. 
Nice. Alright. I use I like to use smite here. Because not only is health important, but time is of essence when you're a jungler. You really need to maintain balancing time taking camps and helping lanes. So I like specific camps to smite. Usually for Silas, the camps are Krugs or Gromp, because Gromp is just really hard to kill in general. I'm not gonna back because I would I wouldn't really get anything. These are pretty good for jungling. I'm not going for kills right now, I'm basically just in a stasis where I need to catch up in XP and I've helped laners too much. You only- so basically with the new patch, why it affects jungle so much is you get more XP from solo kills, but you get less XP from kills that you take with more than one person in the area, which is pretty bad. Now some of you may notice that I started upgrading pretty few points in E first in the jungle. The reason for that is because the cost of E is so- or sorry, W is so dang high, while the cooldown is still gonna be long. I like to do E because it's better for gank- oh, got a guy here. He's smite, unfortunately. I do have a level above him. He's using E for damage reduction. Ah, the healing is just bananas on this. Oh, nice. And because he's dead, I don't want to take Dragon. What I'd prefer to do is just take his jungle camps. Well, I think they're already gone for the most part. I'm really just... This the game. That's all I am. We can loop around bot lane for another kill, though. As a jungler, your role is to help snowball your lanes. If you take all the kills as jungle, you lose. You will lose the game, I promise you that. Dang, I really wish Caitlyn was here. Wow. What the hell? We got a TP coming in. I think we should be okay. SAVE ME! I think... I think overall we still win this fight, yeah? No, we got a, we got a Garen tunneling on here. Oh, he tunneled so hard for that vein. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we should've let the Caitlyn recall, actually. I didn't see she hasn't recalled yet. We will rip the power from their cold, dead fish. That's a lot of gold in the bank. I only put three points into E. After that, I put the rest in a W like usual. It's just for the early game clear, cooldown reduction, things like that. And mana costs, of course. But we have. We have an extra 500 mana from Presence of Mind, we stacked that out, so that's pretty good. That doesn't happen often, so that's why I want to still do this. Ready? Uh, we can look for a kill on Irelia. I do have Red Buff, which makes a huge difference when you're going Halo Blades. Your auto attacks just you can burn. It's, it's really, really good. I'm gonna need you to engage, bro. Man, do stuff. Okay, that works out. First kill, mom. Are you watching? Now, we can get Rift Scuttle. Okay, so we'll lose Dragon for that, but I honestly will take that any day. Unless they can test it. It is uneven, though. I'm not there. That I'm just gonna look for. Actually. Look, you feel like I can make it to the fight. As annoying as it is. I, okay, I see a Koi there. I got level 6. I can totally kill her. Alright, now I'm fine. I'm gonna push out this lane. I should have just taken Ripped Herald. That would have definitely been the best move. I don't know how long the fight would go. Overall, I just wanted to get my jungle item as soon as possible. Strong. As we think. The name of the game with this Hail of Blades is basically Scale into Oblivion. So I'm in no rush for this game to end as soon as possible. I'm basically just going 
to farm and get objectives and farm and get objectives, but I won't force fight, won't force anything. I will just get catches and scale. Clear my jungle at all times. Because if you fall behind in XP, which is extremely important as well, falling behind in XP is like death for you in the jungle. So you constantly want to be in comparison. It also helps when you're trying to get catches, when you're trying to get picks. You're a level above them. Super good. Alright, so... so yeah. Oh, I see mid happening. R is an extremely good ulti to steal. Not Warwick. Warwick is annoying as hell. I'm coming for you. And get some plates here. Now this is an amazing, perfect opportunity to get Rift now. Jungle's dead. We got mid to two plates. I mean, it's just over. I shifted my attention away from bot lane because I saw they lost that somehow, and I'm like, okay, maybe they can't carry. So, I hope mid lane. It's really something you can't plan. Like, it's not like I knew Warwick was going to come there. And I basically just counter ganked. But I am a level above him, almost two, after this. I'm going to wait for my Rin later to return so we can share the wealth. And then I will put Rift there. How beautiful a world is Still taking jungle camps at the same time as well as objectives. I don't really care about Cloud Soul because one, it's the first dragon, and two, I don't care about 10% on my ultimate, you know? No, I don't want to share the gold with them. Let's shove this in, let's tax him a little bit. Put pink in here. I really is missing. Whoa, cowboy. <laughs> yeah, yeet. I got so much gold right now, dude. Like, I, w I went from no assists, no kills to four like that. Snowballed mid lane so hard. I was getting a little worried for this game. And, like I said, I'm not- I'm in no rush to get anything. Yeah, we can- you know, what's a tier 2 tower though right now? I'd rather just counter jungle. It's not even 14 minutes yet. Risking shutdowns. I just don't include myself when my team does stuff like this. Not worth it. Even if it works out, it's so risky. It's not even worth a risk in my opinion. Hi. Don't, 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 don't. Don't try to be a hero. Just deep, dude. Overstaying was not worth it in that case. Not at all. Okay, I'm warmed up. Alright. So sorcerer's shoes, extremely important. Um, so this is what I like a lot. With this build, I actually get a lot, and I mean a lot, of cooldown reduction. Which is so fun. I mean I love that 40% cooldown reduction on Silas. It's it's awesome. So that's one of the most beneficial things. I like to go in Nash's tooth second item, Lich Bane. Right after that, you know, enhancing the auto attacks and hail of blades as much as possible. Good. And then after that, I like to go Rabidons because then the AP scaling ratios with my abilities and my items just goes bonkers. And that's why when you reach that Rabidons, the late game is just over by then, man. It is just so over. I right, have two levels above Warwick. I let the first dragon go, but I don't like to go. I don't like to let more than two dragons away. Now, don't have. Flash, which is a bit scary. It's their high CC comp, but this is why I went Tenacity. They have good ultis to seal, both Ari and Akali. And I have two smites available. Really good. Should be enough to kill her. Yep, see the red smite just kills her. Yep. So the person who had nothing in the beginning of the game. Oh wow. No! Win that, win that for me, for my own mental, dude. Uh, what a what a messed up Warwick, man. He is okay. I gave him a huge bounty. I'm, I'm extremely excited myself. But what a like he was taking dragon while his team got slaughtered. I feel like he could have helped them somewhere there. 
I mean, what a bad team. <laughs> I'm so sad they got dragon. I had no idea. So, 30 hail blades tax. This is an extra 345 damage. It's not like nothing. It's actually a lot. I really was just broken. Uh, I got a CC chain. A lot of healing from that. Tenacity is helpful. Extra AP is, goes a long way. I'm just gonna clear jungle camps until I can get Nash's tooth now. There's no objectives to take on the map. So this is a good time for like not force fights because we don't want to throw on a lead. This is a good time for everyone to just farm up until the next objective. I was already too stupid taking giving my lead away. And the really nice thing about this is your jungle clear is actually so ass. Like, it's pretty bonkers. I think it's been like what? 30 seconds? And I just cleared my entire jungle right here. Pretty good, if you ask me. I'm gonna sell my health pot. I don't really need it. I don't care for it. Sometimes. Not worth my time. That could be time. The waiting for that or the walking, that could be time I just, you know, get a jungle camp. That's why I also like to rush boots. More mobility, more time to get jungle camps, more time to be around the map. Anti healing will be necessary. So I would say, like, a last item, Morello, could go a long way. But your essential items are Lich Bane. Nash's Tooth and Rabadon's all essential for this to work. But that's why it takes till the late game to do anything. I could still get 1v1 by Vayne, honestly. Especially because our ulti's bad. If I miss my hook, I'd be dead. I do have a level advantage, but... I'm an extremely kiteable champion. No way. I didn't get Gromp. That's so tilting. It may not be the best choice, but I'm so tilted off not getting it that I'm gonna go all the way back here just to get it. Yep. I don't pay attention to what my team's doing. Because it's just gonna tell me. Like, just stay in lane and don't, but... I have double boss as well. Wow. Like I said, I mean, oh my god. Her E cancelled my heal. The unlikeliness of that happening happened. Whew. That's the worst feeling in the world. I'll tell you that. And she flashed and healed, honestly. I could have flashed to secure the heal. But I didn't want to, because I didn't think that the likeliness of that happening would actually happen. But it happened. Breath, so does the revolution. <laughs> hey, nice. Oh. Okay, that works out. Rift would be really good now because we could break mid, get inhib. Kind of hard with the wave back there. I don't think we can break it yet. We could really open up the map, getting all the rest of the tier 2s. Oh, you don't want to get an inhib too early though. That's the problem, because then you actually do give them a little bit of leeway. You allow them to catch up a bit because they gain XP constantly. So I wouldn't use that immediately. I would wait until a lot more things were dealt with. But I'm going to grab it anyways, because it's great for pressuring. We got a fight happening. Counter jungling is always super beneficial. That's an amazing multi to seal. Not if I do. Not this time, Vayne. Oh, it happened again. Oh my gosh! You're so annoying. Did they kill our Rift Herald too? Vayne's actually very good at kiting. Oh my god. I just reached my death sentence. Cooldowns? Oh, 
Okay, but meanwhile, probably <laughs> got two towers. <laughs> we just open up the map a bunch. We can get that now. And this is my feeding game. I don't even care. No matter what happens, no matter how much I'm feeding, I'm still two levels above the enemy jungle, which is huge. And I'm kind of rushing kills so I can get my items quicker. So like, a, I'll take a trade any day because I benefit from the trade more than they do. Might be a give, honestly. I'm, I'm kind of fast. Yeah, this might be a give. I'm just kidding. That's why I hate to let two dragons go, then it turns into three when you least expect it. Mm, they need to go in. They take it really slow, actually. They take it really slow. If they go in, we could fight it. I could get there to steal it. Or what's even better is if we kill them here, we just go for Baron. Yeah, he's the one you want to kill. Choose user E. Trying to get these stupid things out of the way. Okay. Or we just end like that. That's the thing about tunneling for objectives like that is just end now. I mean, the Warwick was so focused. Well, maybe we don't end. But we could. Yeah, we open up the base and take a quick Baron. Yeah, let's go Baron. Let's go Baron. Let's go Baron. Let's go Baron. It's still not even out. We can rush it. The bluer the blood, the sweeter it spills. There's no vision. Hmm. You may want to bait it actually. Okay, no, we're rushing it. Frick it. YOLO. They have they truly have no vision. And I'm, t I'm three levels above. Okay, Vayne's bottom. I'm three levels above Warwick. There's no way he steals it from me. I thought he was going to do that. That's why I didn't want to use anything. Oh, we got a failed carrot flash. I'm going to take this ulti. So be. No! You're so annoying! I hate your champion. Wait, is it over? No more slums, no more dungeons. <laughs> no! That's that's how they keep flash! <laughs> it still died. We have Baron, their death times are pretty long. Do I even need a back? He has an ulti. The turret pushing with this is actually insane too. Oh, I couldn't even show it because these guys lose too fast. But these are the runes and build you basically want to go in jungle. And this is why. Hold up. What's going on? No, 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 no. I'll make good use of this. Uh, <laughs> what just happened, man? That was the end. What just happened? Okay, okay, it's it's not the end, I guess. Uh, more movement speed. Let's do it. Um, I can't, I can't not get a, a magi when I have ten stacks, bro. But you could see, dude, I shouldn't have lived that. It, if it wasn't for the hail of blades burst, I even missed my E, and then the burn from auto attacking Vayne killed her. I think my Q too. I felt like I was feeding this game, but I'm actually thirteen five and eleven. Feels pretty good. Whoa, whoa, what's going on, dude? What are you doing? James build revolution. Oh, so close to perfection. We're twenty one. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I got pretty nasty ulti. Nasty in a good way. And I got flash up. We're gonna do it, boys. Holy crap! <laughs> Oh, let's go, baby! Oh, dude, they they just die too quick. It's like instantly. I don't even like queuing. I just like to E and auto because it's so fast. Woo. What a rush! That was like the quickest penta I've ever seen. What the hell just happened, man?
Okay, we take those. There's jungle. Alrighty, now for top Silas. The runes are gonna be a little similar to uh, mid, but not exactly. So conquer, presence, mind, tenacity, last name. These are all the same. Now you will take magical footwear here and biscuit delivery. Uh, I will explain why. We're gonna go attack speed, adaptive force, and armor because we're going against Trinomir. My go-to ban is Fiora, and the summoner spell you're gonna want to take is teleport. Alrighty, so the reason for taking boots in this case is, is, is a trade-off. You know, as a top laner, you kind of have to take TP. You're, it's not the same as being in mid lane. If it's mid lane, I can walk all the way to top or I can walk to bottom if I want to help a lane. But top lane, you're basically on an island. You're going to have to TP if you want to help bottom lane. You can't walk it. So for that reason, I think it's better to have magical footwear because you have TP. You don't really need to run back to lane either because you will have TP, things like that. They make it seem um, a little less stressful, I guess. But at the same time, you have a little less power over the game. Especially against a Trinomir, I'm telling you guys. This is gonna go bad for us and i'm gonna be boring because the only way i win this is if i'm boring i'm just gonna have to farm 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 and even then i still might not win lane it's just the best chance i got this guy just eat an auto attack me for 200 hp Fine. biscuits is gonna be necessary for sustain as well as mana so is corrupting potion these are all musts uh, i'm just gonna try my best to cs honestly this this guy is just I hate champion. We're just here for the XP. So somehow, we have the same amount of minions here. I'm one CS below him. So that's good. That's really good. As long as we stay in with an XP by late game, you know, once we get boots by 12 minutes, that extra movement speed, everything is going to be so good for us. Like, it'll just work out like a charm. But it's the early game that you take this handicap, this handicap of boots, because you're not going to be doing anything. There's some trades here and there, but... Without Ignite, it's pretty hard to force a kill on someone. Okay. Two, but I don't want to bait it too hard. I want to act like kind of stupid. You know, if I, if I show myself too aggressive, then he's going to run away. Got it, bro. Okay. We get a flash. He has TP. I'm not going to push the wave. Oh, I got it. What's going on? What's going on? Taking a biscuit. I don't want my mana pool to go too low without me realizing it. It stands right now. I'll show you magic. I'm not sure if we kill. I just I got nothing, dude. I'm just slapping auto attacks here. Oh, we'll force the TP. I got biscuits. I don't think I need a force. How now that he's used TP though, and TP has such a long cooldown, if my master you came back top, guys, there's a dead man. I mean, just really a dead man. And... Okay. There's the TP that I was talking about. Thinking... I'm thinking if I want to go kill, I'm going to actually do W. We do have a level advantage on him. I actually am interested in fighting. But only when my things are available. I also have to be cautious of my mana. This wave is stacking a little bit. Okay. He's within my minions. Okay, he crit. Okay, okay, this is okay. Because now, I'm gonna TP, and he's screwed. So, Sometimes. F you, dude. Actually, this is a perfect amount of gold. We get Dark Steel and Thorns right No, we don't. Yourself. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna get this, because we need mana. And we're gonna get full HP, and then we're gonna beat him. Yes, we are. Actually, my recall here. But the way's in a good position for me to screw him, actually. And if I do get level 6 before him, that would be insanely beneficial. Which I should. We're at a good standing for CS. Yeah. He's gonna lose minions. XP. Yes. Farm. Gold. And I will be level 6 before him. We both don't have flash. I'll have that advantage over him. Now, the unfortunate thing is I believe he's going to be buying a Vampiric Scepter. We got a Mana Crystal, so we should be able to hold out in traits long. He's not bot lane.
And if you did go bot lane, he would be screwed because then I would shove in his wave. Even if they won the fight. Where is this guy? I have a huge wave now. I can just crash it and take a plate, actually. Even if he comes now, it's so big. Yeah, you're screwed, buddy. I mean, he'll get the wave, but he can't clear it fast enough. You had to move in close. Oh, I'm Look at a plate. That's an extra 160 gold advantage I have on him. Wait. Guys, come on. 28 HP, really? No way he just got six, man. That is such a feels bad. Wait, I pressed R! I thought it was me that pressed R, not him! What just happened? Ooh. I hate top lane, to be honest. This is my least favorite solid lane, but oh my god, that's tilting. Not the first time I've had my neck in a noose. We got home guards. We'll get back to the lane. Okay, it's good. It's a cannon wave, so we don't miss too much, actually. Because the cannon's taking most of it, I'll still make it for the most the rest of the CS. I can kill him. Eh, maybe. We're just gonna scale. And then pop off in the late game. I can't believe I didn't press R there. I'm trolling. I knew something like that might happen, but I was afraid it would, and then it did. I like to go the same starter items, though. I really like to have Doran's Ring. I really like to have Dark Seal. Things like that. I find are really nice. It's not too ahead of me. Our farm is the exact same. If I got that turret plating, I would have been so much happier, though. I really int it for that. That extra health, that the, the health that went You'll towards to that, really screwed me in the end. Because all the health I could have had to live and then like, not die. He's, I don't know the ultimate cooldown, but he has zero percent cooldown. Why splash out? Okay, we're being taxed. Lots. I will show them Not sure what your game plan is here, bro. He'll or... definitely have ult soon, but I can steal his ulti again in a bit as well. He has a slight XP advantage over me. Light. Uh oh. What are you doing, bro? Get off my friends! That's sad. Uh oh. I'm out of here. Okay. I got the assist. Master Boots. Ren has no ulti. Oh! The tilt. Uh. We got a lot out of that, though. I, had worse beatings I believe in the late game. You guys always wanted to see... You never see videos of me doing bad. Well, not here. You got it. You always wonder, what does our moon do when he feeds? You guys think I never feed? Oh, I feed. Rut row. From the rubble, true order will be born. Catch me if you can. 
Attack. Let me get some vision, make sure they're not taking Scuttle. It's really good that we deny dragons from Shibana. Obviously, she's freaking amazing with them. I just need to stack up my arm guard a little bit to be able to be fine. Should be fine. We got our boots. I do not kneel. Okay. There is on the bottom. Be careful, boys. I do have TP, so I'm, my eyes are constantly watching. Gonna miss coming back. Gotta push it hard. You picked the wrong side. Thing is, if I TP, he takes tower, and this guy takes tower fast. I would prefer a 4v4 because we win those. If my team fights 4v4, over. But even if we won the fight, it wouldn't be worth it. Because Trinomir gets so much. They locked up. I need to kill him before he heals up with his life seal. And I'm watching to see if his ulti goes off. I never did. Ah! I could have TP'd then. I was fighting Trinomir. But there's like a split second I could have TP'd. I love that. Ping my TP. I just killed top lane, dude. Just disgusting. <laughs> Why are people so mean to me? That's good. I like I like to have him hovering on my thing to constantly watch. Okay, no ATP. You're disgusting. I am the true Damasia. Insecure top lane. Not that I care. I'm gonna rush boots so that I don't Let's have to TP, so I can just run back to lane as fast as possible. Who am I kidding? This guy pushes so fast. I'm gonna have to TP, huh? Yup. I hate you, Trinomir. But at least I can match his pressure now. Hey, finished way of the ranking. You're dead, buddy. This is why I upgraded boots. Hiya! What? What did you expect? Did you expect to kill me or something? There's no TP now. I take top lane? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I guess we gotta play 10 seconds before it was over. I think I can take this tower too, actually. With turret plating off, it's actually a lot easier to kill towers. I can secure our first one. Unshackle your mind! If mid lane allows me to. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, there's no point in me taking this now. Well, there is, but it's gonna be too late. Trying to real kill me. I have no ulti to steal. I have no flash. He's much faster than me. He's got Blade of the Ruin King active. It's just a no go, friends. He's so fast, I literally cannot get all my mana back. He's just so fast. This is why magical footwear is good too. I don't have TP, but I'm gonna make it before you can take tower. Hey, Trendomir. I'm sorry, Fog. The lie. I'm not gonna take it. Is he inting for it? Oh my god, the man-man is inting for it. <gasps> See, that's the thing I like. I like to hold W, because they don't expect the burst. I know he's gonna ulti, dude. I know he's inting for it. But if I don't allow him to? Oh, come on. I just need to keep the lane pushed at all times. Then he can't. Split push. Oh my god, what is with them in top lane, dude? Can you leave me alone? Weeha! I'm dead. It was such an unnecessary ulti for him, but he still did it. Shivana has shut down Shivana? Sounds about right. That's Dance Vane. That is awesome. Die. 
So am I watching? Watching a freaking fight that they can destroy in. They, they just all use like summoner spells. Please kill them. Even death cannot yeah, I know I have a lot of gold, but I'm so close to finishing this. I don't want to sell stuff just for temporary advantage. Rather just suffer right now. One more wave, I should have it. It's right there. And wave for sure. I can secure the cannon. I got it. I'm pretty bad. I don't always secure the cannon. I had to secure with W. Oh. The revolution must fall. Almost said then I said almost said an all chat that I was coming. Yeah. Okay. We gotta do this quick. Because the stupid top laner is gonna probably be in our base if we take too long. I don't have TP up yet. Need a force fight. Prison for me to find liberation. Fainter flash. But um we gotta do this now. Do it now, do it now, do it now. Okay. I got the shutdown. I'm recalling to go top now. Leave me alone. You guys better win the fight. I killed the jungler. Please win the fight. My lord. Oh, he's smart. He's just letting the waves die. He gets the XP advantage, all that crap. My team's butthole. Change build revolutions, one link at a time. This is an uneven fight. It's it 4v3 and they lost it. That's actually insane. Trimmer's top. I killed Shibana. Now oh, they feed my trend here. I think I can carry if we get the late game though. A shepherd with no flock is just an idiot with a stick. Need this. Maybe hundreds gonna give me Zonyas. Do TP flank bottom actually really well. No way the board just freaking died. Whatever. The Shivana got a triple kill, but it's me, Shivana. Oh god. Don't fight him, you're gonna lose. Don't be my top leader anymore, guys, please. I'm OP. <laughs> god, can you not, for like two seconds, feed my top lane? Oh, freaking god. It's so unnecessary to fight him, though. I'm a man without a country. Perhaps I'll take this one. <laughs> if they match Trent, they just feed him. It just makes the game ten times harder. Every Demacian. Uh, I can't steal an ulti until fifteen seconds, but he don't know that. Okay, well, I'm a nice guy. I share the wealth, even when I have magi's. This is me. 
Okay, we have a level difference, so I don't know if I trust Ye. Who am I kidding? Let's do it! Fifty percent HP, yeah. Just burst it. Can we not fight? Just burst it. I got a recall. I'm worth nothing. All right, whatever. We're trolling. We're trolling. To kill him. There's so many things going on, I actually can't pay attention. Okay. I got our ulti out at least. Um, they're not on Baron actually, I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, I took the Bane thing because you can't see if it, like because it's similar passive abilities. If I steal hers and then I press my Q, I become invis. Just like how if she presses it, she becomes invis. Why are you walking up to me? You're a support, you're totally baiting me. I'm not falling for it. You must think I'm an idiot. <laughs> what? I gotta stay. 45. Don't suck, team. Please don't suck. Such magic should never be found. It's 4v5. Just go for the objective. I actually... Wait, you guys saw that. That was a random E in there. Yeah, let's not fight an uneven fight. That's my bad. I'm stupid, guys. Not even close, baby. You got up and yourself. I'm just so close. The Rabbitons, I can't not. I don't want to sell my Dorans. Get out, team. Brain powers over 9,000. I'm almost level 16. I need anti heal for this stupid Trindomir. I need anti heal for this stupid Vayne. I need teammates with a brain for this stupid team. I need a lot of things. Conflict brings truth. Eventually. Zonia is on cooldown. That was a little scary. My flash is on a very low cooldown as well. That's all. Okay. No, there's nothing I can do right now. I'd be risking my bounty. I'd be risking my magic. But as I stacked, I'm basically the team right now. So I'd be risking basically the game if I did something stupid. I think I can burst him. Kind of magic is this. Hear me. He actually does fear me. Oh, played. I'm a flank. Who wins? Morgana support or Master Yi? I honestly don't know.
If they stay on it, I'll stop Shimano from coming. They just they gotta stay on it. Dude, I'm going off. That's one of the roughest early games of my life. I have 3,000 gold right now. What the hell? I'm full hell, baby. One step ahead of the law. It's going on 16 and 3. This build is unkillable now. They, 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 they can't kill me. They cannot. Level 17 and level 14. Full Magi's. No more I have Morello. No more I'm about to have Flash. I have Zonius ready. Pretty done, though. Four towers to two. We actually have like no map here. Okay. 18. Really good. Told you guys. Silas scaling is above the bunkers. Wait, you black shielded yourself. Why would you flash? Whoop. That's how you throw. I want to throw too hard. We got Ocean Soul in a second, and it's like it's secured. We don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Good tears. Good tears. We just need to push out the map. Push out the map. This is really good rotation, players. I got TP. I just need a quick friend right now. What a disgusting champion, huh? I made sure to put my Q under him. I made sure to put my Q under him so that he can't... You know, it's an instant burst. With my W. 40 seconds. I'm gonna push this out. I don't want this stupid guy to split anymore. He bothers me. Didn't even use my ulti. If we push out all lanes, this is nothing he can split push. Holy how you shut down Trinity. I'm watching for a TP. Yeah, I'm TPing. Ulti's about to run out. Please don't run out. Please don't run out. Please don't run out. I just ran out. I just ran out. Okay. I don't really care. I don't think you guys realize I have Ocean Soul. I'm Silas. And I'm full build with a Magi. So we got a freaking random TP here. Probably trolling. <laughs> If I get that hit, I might have died. It doesn't matter. G, flipping Geo. Alright guys, that is everything. That is every world. That is everything you need to do. Please like the video. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. If you learned something, join the Discord. Follow my socials in the description. Have a great day, and I hope this helped you.